Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Denise Arias, and today's video, I'm gonna be sharing some really yummy drinks that I like to have in the morning or as a pick me up in the afternoon. And yeah, I've actually had this um, request quite a few times because if you follow me on Instagram or Snapchat, I always share drinks. And uh, if it's not my Delgona coffee, it's a smoothie. If it's not a smoothie, it's a matcha latte. But I'm always trying different drinks at home so that I don't spend as much going out and buying drinks like at Starbucks or anywhere else. Um, it's a lot cheaper and sometimes it tastes better so it's really nice and it's honestly a lot more convenient having it at your house and being able to make these drinks at home so before I show you guys how I make my favorite matcha latte I want to share with you guys what I use I am now partnered up with Timmy blends and I'm so excited because their green superfood blend literally tastes just like matcha so I swapped out my regular matcha for this superfood blend which has matcha spirulina wheatgrass and those are just a few of the 16 superfood ingredients. And it doesn't have any fillers or additives. I've been trying for a whole week now and honestly, it has been so great. I wish I would have tried it sooner, to be honest, because I would have swapped out my regular matcha sooner. A scoop of this and you get your daily dose of greens. So if you are interested, make sure that you check out the affiliate link in the description box below so for my matcha latte it's gonna be super simple all you're gonna need is some matcha in my case I'm gonna be using the superfood blend just because why not get a little extra greens I'm gonna be using some oat milk but you can also use whatever milk you prefer I'm gonna be using a little bit of maple syrup and I'm gonna be using a little bit of cinnamon for the top it's so simple to make this drink I'm gonna be using my Kimi tumbler. I love it. You can just take it out and wash it, super easy. And it's easy to shake up the matcha in here too, so I'm gonna just use that. So first I'm gonna add milk. I'm gonna do about that much. Just enough to have for my cup with ice. I'm gonna add a whole scoop of matcha, aka superfood blend. And I'm gonna add literally a little teensy weensy bit of maple syrup. You don't need a lot. And I'm gonna also add a little bit of cinnamon. Actually, I like a lot of bit of cinnamon. And that's literally it. I'm gonna go ahead and close this. I'm gonna shake it up. All right, now I'm gonna get my ice. Okay, well that didn't go as planned. I'm gonna get my cup. I'm gonna go ahead and pour this out onto my cup. And maybe a little bit more cinnamon on top. And you're done. So now we're gonna make my Dalgona coffee. I'm gonna use Taster's Choice Nescafe, and it's gonna be the French roast. It's in between medium and dark. I'm gonna use my favorite milk, which is the almond coconut, and it's unsweetened. I'm also gonna be using some oat milk creamer just because this coffee is a little bit on the, you know, it's a little strong. We're gonna need some regular sugar, some white cane sugar. And I love to put vanilla in mine. You're also gonna need a bowl. You're gonna need your cup with ice ready to go. And you're gonna need either a handheld mixer or you're gonna need a whisk. A whisk is gonna take a little bit longer than a handheld mixer. Okay. So 
So you're gonna go ahead and put two tablespoons of coffee. I mean, this is a kind of a little spoon, so I'm gonna put a little extra. You're also gonna put the same amount of sugar. I think I'm running out. One. Two. I'm gonna put about a cap full of vanilla. I forgot to tell you guys, I, you're also gonna need a little bit of hot water. So I'm gonna do two tablespoons as well of hot water. One, and that was a little extra, so let me not do too much. Two. Okay. I know this looks a little bit crazy right now, but if you haven't tried this, you must. So, now I'm gonna go ahead and start mixing. So this is the consistency that I like. Um, you can totally keep mixing until it becomes really, really fluffy. But I noticed that if I make it too fluffy, it's so hard to mix. It's like trying to mix oil and water. So now that we have that done, here comes the easy part. You're gonna go ahead and pour to about there with milk. It's so almost to the top. You're also gonna put a little bit of creamer for sweetness, but not too much because we also have sugar in there, so. So, about there, just to make it a little creamy. I'm gonna go ahead and mix this. Put it in there. So like I said, this is the consistency that I prefer. Here it is. I don't like it way too fluffy because even like this, it's gonna take a minute to mix. But look at this, doesn't it look bomb? Here you have it. <laughs> so now we're gonna make a chai tea latte. You can totally use the regular uh, Chai tea, I actually have, have some in here. You can totally use this type of chai tea and put it in some hot water and then add milk. But I feel like it comes out so much better with this Cafe De Vida, I don't really know how to say it, uh, chai spice tea latte and it's premium instant. Um, I don't know, I enjoy it more like this but Sometimes when I'm not trying to have too much sugar, I definitely use these as well. So for that, for the chai tea, we're gonna use obviously the instant chai. We're gonna use a little bit of vanilla extract. We're gonna use a little pumpkin spice and we're gonna go ahead and use the same almond coconut milk, unsweetened. I did about that much hot water just so that it dissolves really well. And I'm gonna be using Two spoonfuls of chai spice tea. Chai, chai tea spice powder instant chai. And then, dang, I'm breathing hard, I'm sorry. I'm gonna go ahead and mix this really, really well. I'm gonna go ahead and add the vanilla, a capful. I'm gonna put a little bit of pumpkin pie spice. It's already a really spicy type drink, so I wouldn't add too much, but it does give it a nice taste. So now I'm gonna add some ice. And of course, milk. Here we have a pumpkin spice chai tea latte.
Of course, we gotta try the drinks, right? Here we go. Matcha latte. I did end up putting a little extra uh, maple syrup, but you can, you don't even have to add sugar, it's so good. It's just sometimes you need a little, you know. Bomb. It's delicious. So now, chai. Highly recommend to try it at home. Okay, mom. I don't know if this is my favorite out of all the three. I feel like I love all three of them equally. But this is my favorite for the days where the kids are just being hard. This, those are the days that I just need my coffee. And um, it makes super easily. If I would have made it way too frothy, way too thick, it wouldn't have mixed. But it's still super creamy. Okay, let's give it a try. If you guys have not tried Dalgona coffee, I don't even know if that's how you say it. I saw it on TikTok and I tried it. First time I made it, it was not good. It was just not good. It was super cool because of how frothy it was and how thick and I, I love the way that it looked because it was like white and really thick at the top. And um, it was super Instagrammable for sure. But the taste, it was just not good. So I started playing around with it. I started adding, I did creamer one time, just plain creamer and um, the coffee, right? And I made it the same way as usual, except for I used creamer instead of milk. That shit was so sweet. No, just don't do that, okay? It was not good at all. I threw that shit out too. So I was like, all right, well, make it, milk isn't working. Creamer isn't working. What if I did a little bit of each? So I tried that. Okay, it was starting to taste a little better. Like, okay, it's starting to taste a little bit better. And then I seen one of my friends make it on Instagram and she added vanilla. And I was like, huh, I should try with vanilla. So I did, game changer, that. And then I played around with the milks too. So I did pure coconut milk, I did pure almond milk. Almond milk, I love almond milk, but it's just not the creamiest. It's not the best tasting in my opinion. So I love doing a little bit of half almond, half coconut, or just oat milk. If you do want to try alternative milks, I definitely recommend trying oat milk before anything. And then slowly get into almond milk, coconut milk. But this shit is fire. Okay, you guys. Well, that concludes the video. I'm so happy that I finally did a little recipe video for you guys. It was really fun making this video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love you guys and let me know what other recipes you guys want to see. I'm gonna have a whole bunch of new videos up soon, so make sure that you turn on your post notifications if you don't want to miss it. Let me know how you guys like those drinks. Okay, bye. Peace out. Peace out. I will see you guys in the next video.